Today marked another deadline for the final piece of the Harrison Square project. There has been a history of missed deadlines and delays, but recently plans have seemingly been on track. So was today's financing deadline met? News Channel 15's Adam Widener has been following this story for us all day. He joins us live from News Control tonight with the latest. Adam. Well, Mark, I spoke with the City Redevelopment Commissioners and even an attorney for one of the developers today tracking this story all day. It turns out developers did meet that deadline today, so the ball keeps rolling on the Harrison project for now. Like I said, they did meet that deadline, but it was not without cutting it close. They were supposed to finalize financing by the end of the day. This afternoon, developers gave the city proof of financing agreement with PNC Bank. That doesn't mean there's a final agreement, though. The parties involved will be reviewing the commitment to lend and hope to have a definitive agreement by the end of next week. Now, Tim Hafner, an attorney representing the city, is very confident the proof will satisfy the city's expectations, say nothing will fall through from here on out. If the world stops and everybody goes away and everybody decides not to do what they worked diligently to complete in the last several months, we still have in place the January settlement agreement with Barry Real Estate and Hardball Capital that would compensate the city and the citizens for the costs and expenses that we've incurred in the past number of months. We don't think that's likely. We think it's highly unlikely, especially given the events of today. Ground is still scheduled to be broken on the Harrison by November. The Redevelopment Commission ultimately has to approve the final agreement. And News Channel 15's Megan Royce just spoke with attorney Tim Hafner just moments ago. She'll be continuing our coverage of this deadline tonight at 11 o'clock. And no doubt, if you've been in this area, you know the drama that has been going on with the Harrison Project. So I went through and I found out all the stuff. I made a timeline, actually, of all the stuff this year that has happened so far in the Harrison. You can see that timeline on Wayne.com. Adam Widener, News Channel 15.